Hey everyone, this is Josh from Predatory Plants here to do another hybrid spotlight where we kind of give a little overview of the parents of a Nepenthes hybrid and try to show you how their traits have passed on to the offspring and give some commentary on, on the hybrid itself. So what you see in front of me here are the parents of the hybrid that we're going to talk about. The female parent is this beautiful Nepenthes maxima. Uh, it was originally sold to me as Nepenthes Maxima Dark uh, in 1997 by Peter D'Amato. So I've had this plant for quite a while. It has a very distinctive leaf shape with these large paddle shaped leaves. We have a freshly opened pitcher right here where you can see it opens up very flared. No stripes on the peristome, but a much lighter red when it opens. Beautiful modeling on the pitcher body. Very prominent wings, a large spur well, back here, and a big kind of nectar spoon here underneath the lid. Great patterns under the lid. Very beautiful plant. Here's an older pitcher back here as well. This is the plant that we've designated Maiden in the greenhouse. And then this. Nepenthes ventricosa red. This is the very familiar Agristarts clone that you see all over the place. It's mass produced in Florida by tissue culture and you can find this in garden centers and carnivorous plant shops and pretty much everywhere in the little death cubes. Uh, we've had this plant since 2009. It's a male. You can see it has very long vines out here and actually I should show you these are the Nepenthes Maxima, or Maiden Uppers. They're lovely, not much color, but a great shape, very interesting lid. A little cluster of them over here. And then we have actually an intermediate right here that's a lot like an upper. It's just opening up, but it has a little bit more color on it. Ventricosa don't really make uppers. Uh, they, they just kind of have slightly paler pictures. There's not a big morphology difference as there is with Maxima. This is the plant that we have designated as Victory. So these two plants together have led to this one right here. The Penthes Maiden of Victory. Maiden being the mother and Victory being the father of this cross. This plant right here is three years and two months old from when we sowed the seed so it has grown incredibly fast you can see it clearly picked up the coloration of the female parent this kind of lime green with dark purple speckles the peristome color as well but then you can see that it got a lot of its shape this hourglass shape kind of a shiny pitcher body from the male parent but it maintained the distinctive wings along the front here of the female. The male plant has absolutely no wings. That's one of the main features of Nepenthes ventricosa. So the wings clearly are a dominant trait that pass all the way through, as is the coloration. Uh, I personally see a lot more maxima in this cross than I do ventricosa. Uh, also the distinctive paddle-shaped leaves, the leaves of the ventricosa, for instance, you can see uh, you know, they, they stay wide all the way down to the stem. The maxima really narrows down right here. And you get kind of an additive thing. You see it narrowing down, but not quite as much as dramatically on the Maiden of Victory. But it did also pick up the, the kind of red coloration in the leaves under bright sunlight that is completely absent on the Ventricosa. But all in all, I think this is a beautiful hybrid. It grows amazingly fast. It holds a lot of pitchers. It seems to grow well in both highland and lowland conditions. Very pleasant looking. Has maintained a bit of a short stature, uh, which could be very important for a hybrid. We haven't seen it bolt yet and start vining as they typically do. Uh, so we'll have a bit more to report on that soon. But yes, that's a hybrid spotlight on Nepenthes Maiden of Victory. And there's the happy family right there.